Hey traders, Ragi here and in this free recap video we're going to dive into silver and I'm going to break down an individual trade and I think this is an interesting one because it's a trade that actually shows how transitions happen in a trend. This happens to be a 60 minute chart of silver that we are currently long in and it shows you how risk is different with different trade setups. So let's get into it. So the first setup in silver that we took and this was an alert was this one right here. And this trade right here is what's known as a wave reversal or wave CCI. And the reason that's called a wave reversal or wave CCI is when we get through this 34 EMA on the high, we buy. Now it's a reversal because notice the trend that preceded it. Down, 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 and then there's your reversal. So you can see where the name comes from. So it's a trend break ultimately. And when this market broke higher through the 14.04 level, we got long right in there. We have an optional target that's been hit at 14.20, which is a, a really nice follow through, but that's not what the trade is about. Let's talk about the risk associated with this for a moment. When you have a wave reversal, you're actually going to look to the opposite side of the range. And in this case, the low. And this low right here, okay, that low represents where your stop loss should be. So this right here represents the low and I want to have my stop loss just below that. So your risk is from here to here, which is not a small amount of risk. So for this reason, a lot of traders might say, well, thanks, but no thanks. You know, I don't need the trade or maybe you're going to use an alternative support level like this Darvis. So, okay, I'll use this optional level for a stop loss instead to make the risk uh, more muted. But it is a pretty big risk. It's a, it's a little bit less risk if you use this stop, okay? Then as a wave reversal occurs, ideally what you get is the market trying to turn into an uptrend. I mean, that's exactly what we want. We want a reversal through here to eventually continue with these green grab candles until ultimately what we have is what we have right now, this uptrend that's formed recently. Now the uptrend brings with it its own set of entries. And now we've got different pullback buys that are able to get us long, which is exactly what's happened since our initial buy back in here. Now the neat thing about this being a buy is this line, the 34 EMA on the low becomes the, the, the genesis for your stop. You want to have maybe, you know, 0 0.01, 0 0.02 below that low. So your stop is just below this level right in here. Obviously entails less risk than this. And for a lot of traders, this is a no-go, but this works. So a few things to take away here. Trend reversals oftentimes do turn into trends. So the break of the downtrend is a trigger and then once the downtrend is broken the market has a chance to turn the chop that it's in into eventually an uptrend which is what we've got and we will remain long silver at the moment and then remember once the trend changes so too does the strategy and that became the most recent opportunity to buy within the context of this overall up market so think about that There's two things one market trends dictate your your follow through market trends dictate uh, what your uh, expectation for moves are going to be. It also dictates what your um, strategy is going to be. That's that's a big one, actually, right there. The strategy itself. Another interesting part, I want to switch over to the daily for a moment. Another interesting part is for those folks that ask, OK, Rog, can we have done this on gold, too? Absolutely. One of the reasons though I liked silver is we were bouncing around this 1400 level. So I want everyone to realize that part of my interest in the long position was the fact that we were near a level that I was looking at for a bounce anyways. And we ultimately chose the 60 minute or, or one hour chart for the trade. So just something else to add in there, just all the different layers of things that I'll look at. You know, this could have been a buy right here, right? Now, a lot of folks are asking me where the buy in crude oil may be. And we're going to talk about double bottoms in crude in the premium video. So to keep these kind of patterns in mind on the longer term charts, because sometimes they actually will give you a very nice intraday 
trade like what we have right now in silver. You know, fast forward to where we are today, you know, silver's all over 1430 and this continues to be a very nice trend higher. All right, I'll see you in the next update.